Okay, let's get into um, recording your first little animation. So I'm just going to create a really quick scene. I won't use any of my prefab, my scenes that I've already made because I want, uh, I want you to see if you're not really familiar with using Unity, how quickly you can start bringing something in if you have sample content assets to use. It's gonna dim the sun a little bit. I always find the sun or the directional light way too intense. Okay, so we have a basic ground plane. You need a ground plane if you're gonna be dropping characters and things in. Now, inside some of the folders that we include is we included sample assets from Unity. And this includes a whole bunch of little prefabs and models and things like that. So under standard assets, we can have, let's just grab a character. We'll grab the third person uh, character here. Let's go to the prefab. And I can just drag and drop this guy in third person controller. Now this is a character that is already rigged up in Unity. They've already done all the work for you, so you don't have to know how to do anything. So that's the reason we want to use this. I, I'm, we're kind of approaching this as though you don't know Unity at all, because I don't know Unity very well. And well, at least I didn't. I know it a little better now, but I'm not an expert at all. So now we have this character that we can run around the scene. So let's just press play. This is up here, you press play. Now we can run this character about. We hold the shift key, it walks. If uh, we just press here, he runs around. It's fine, it's not the best thing in the world, but it moves pretty well, good enough for us to get started. So now if we wanna track this character, what we can do is we can just go to auto add trackers to scene. So we'll refresh and we'll see that there's only four trackers. So essentially it's put one on this ground mesh. So it looks for meshes. It doesn't, it won't do lights right now. We don't track lights or cameras. We only track specific scene track cameras um, that are used for video. So we've got an object here and this is the plane. We've probably got one on this character and a couple nested things in here. So this character's got a bunch of stuff going on. And in here down at the bottom, you'll see a scene track object. There will probably be one on his body too, and this is a skin mesh. So we have a stream tag object for, for skin mesh. And what it's saying here is we have a little warning. It's saying there's no trackers on the bones here. So you can either click here to add trackers to bones. And if we refresh here, we should end up having a lot more. The other option is, is you can just go here at the very top node and say add children trackers. And that'll run through the whole thing and look for anything inside of this hierarchy that doesn't have a tracker on it and just add one. And the nice thing about that is you can also go in and you can remove them all just as easily. So then we're down to two and then we just remove the last. Okay, so now that we've removed all the trackers, let's, let's just add them back on. If you wanna actually, if you wanna remove all of them, you just go remove this and then what you can ultimately do is refresh and you see that there's none there. And then you just take this scene track object and you, uh, you delete it. Remove component. So now we have one object left and that's the plane and then you can clear that out. So I'm just gonna go add a component. If I wanna add one manually, I'll just look up scene track. And so here we go, we have scene track object. There we go, same thing came back. And we'll just add children. And so we're back at all our 85 objects are tracked. So now what this will do is we should be able to just record this character. So let's just press play. It'll take a little bit longer to start, but not very much. So we'll run the character around, jump it a couple times and then stop. So let's refresh. So we have one take in the system now. So if we, we take a look at this, what we can do right away is we can just export the animation. So you can choose a folder to export to. I usually create a folder in the project. So I'm, I'll just put it in the sample content folder to now, for now called exports. And then I'll just put it under here for now. So we'll just call it, um, we'll call it Ethan take one. There we go. All right, so now that we have that exported, we can theoretically go to the folder in our sample content, see track exports, and there it is right there. And right now I have this, so if I wanna open an FBX, I can use the uh, Autodesk FBX viewer, which works for just fine. It's just a good way to verify that everything came in how you expected. You can see all the joints, everything's lining up well. All the objects are there. And textures, UV maps are obviously supported as well. But uh, yeah, essentially there, everything's there, great. So this could then be imported into Maya or whatever you want and played around with. Okay, so now that that FBX animation is created, we can technically bring that back in onto the character. So if we go into our up here and we have our sample content and we have our scene track exports, um, right here, you'll see that Ethan is in there. Now we can bring Ethan back in and I believe and assign animation controls back to him. You see that he's come in a bit small and that's because I exported him for scale. If you want him to be exported at Unity scale, 
he needs to be at 100. Um, so let's go here back to preferences. So if you want it to be a unity size, we need to go into the animation and put this to 100. Close it out. And so we would have to export that take again. So if we export this, Ethan basic take one, scale 100. Sometimes it just, it forgets to refresh. So just click around the screen. So there he comes in at the proper scale. Now this object can technically have animation applied to it. The easiest way to use the animation is, if you're not familiar with Unity, is to actually use the timeline. And we'll get into using the timeline in the next video.